Another interesting pattern in the organizing data series is called change unidirectional association to bidirectional. The motivation here is that you have two classes where they both need to use features of each other, but there's only a one-way link. So we have a classic example here of a customer and an order, and an order can link back to a customer. So each order has a customer, and therefore a customer has many orders. But from the customer object itself, we can't get to the order. So we need to add that. So the first thing we're going to do is create a set of orders in the customer object. We'll make that private for now, and we'll make it a hash set. We'll assume that these objects have hash codes and equals implemented and things like that. Just call it orders. And of course initialize it. And now the whole purpose of this was so that when you're referencing a customer object you can see its orders. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a public enumeration of order. And that's just so any consuming code that needs to look at the orders for a given customer can just look directly at that. But now we also need a way to modify this collection. And this is where sometimes it gets a little tricky. Now Essentially, between these two objects, one of them needs to own the association between the two. And right now, the order class already owned that one-way association, so it currently makes sense for the order class to own the two-way association as well. Now, there are various tips to determine which one should associate, which one should own the association. If it's a many-to-many -many relationship, it usually doesn't matter. You just pick one. If it's a one-to-many relationship, you generally want to put the ownership on the object which refers directly to the other one. So in this case, again, order is going to own this relationship. Now where it also gets tricky here is that we want to have a way for only the order object to change this association. And the C-sharp language doesn't actually have a way to do that. It doesn't have the concept of friend objects or friend members. So what I'm going to do is just call this internal. And I'm going to name it, because this is what Martin Fowler names it in his book, I'm going to name it friend orders. Now it, implementation wise it does the same thing as the enumerable, it's just the observable nature of them that changes. And so the reason we're calling this friend orders is to try to signify in some way that nothing else should be using this, only a friend of this class. Now again, the language doesn't have a way for us to restrict that. We might also put some IntelliSense comments on this property to act as a warning that say, please don't use this unless you're the order object. Now, generally, I might be against comments to do things that the code should do, but in this case, the language doesn't have that feature, so the code can't do that. But anyway, now we can modify the order class to update this association. Since we're going to be adding custom logic, we can't, we can't use the automatic getter and setter here. So let's create a private customer object. And let's replace this getter and setter. The getter is pretty straightforward. And the setter is where there's going to be logic. Now there might be all sorts of null checking, there might be all sorts of business rules, but essentially there are three main steps that are always going to occur, and they should always occur in the same order. And that is to disassociate from the, from the existing customer, to update this customer, and then associate with the new one. So first we'll disassociate with the existing one. Say customer.friendorders.remove this. So the old customer no longer points to us, no longer points to this order. Now customer equals value. And now the new customer we will add this. 
And that's essentially it. That changes the unidirectional association to bidirectional. Now, we mentioned earlier that maybe things might be a little different if there's a many-to-many -many relationship. And that does change up the logic a little bit, but it doesn't really modify it too much. So let's take a look at that. If it's a many-to-many -many relationship, then first of all, we wouldn't have this one customer. We would have many customers. Now, the customer object isn't going to change much. It still needs this internal friend orders because we're still going to make the order class maintain the relationship. So let's create the hash set of customers. Again, we'll make it publicly visible. We don't have to make a friend version this time because we don't need to be visible to the customer object because the order object in this case owns that relationship. So the customer object has no business modifying this collection directly. We are, however, going to make methods to add and remove a customer. And here the logic is very similar, but there are only two steps. We don't have to remove an association when we set a new customer because it's many to many. So the previous customers still have that association. So in this case, we just add ourselves to the foreign object first. We modify that. Customer.friendorders.add this. And then customers.add the one that's passed in. So again, we modify the foreign object first, and then modify the local object. And then the same thing for remove customer. And now in the customer object, we want to be able to add and remove an order. Since it's many to many, it makes sense that we should be able to modify it from either object. So we make some similar methods here. However, we don't want to be able to modify this collection directly. And we also don't want to get caught in any sort of infinite loop or stack overflow error. And so in this case, we just delegate the adding and removing to the object that owns that association, which is the order object. So the order that gets passed in, we just tell it to add this as a customer and remove this as a customer. And that delegates it up to here where we first modify the customer and then modify the order. And so that covers a many-to-many -many relationship between the customer and the order. And that's it for the change unidirectional association to bidirectional pattern. Thanks for watching.